The Moonshot is a bold new program for creating disruptive innovation. We tackle the challenges facing future societies through ambitious, goal-oriented research projects, leaping beyond the limits of conventional technology without fear of failure. The Moonshot Goal 6 will realize a full-trend universal quantum computer by 2050. To realize a full-trend quantum computer, we need formidably large number of physical qubits. However, most of the techniques currently employed for the superconducting quantum circuits are not scalable to that level. So we need a series of breakthroughs. In this project, we approach the challenge from both sides, namely by increasing manageable number of qubits and by decreasing the number of qubits required. The former includes the development of electronics operating at cryogenic temperatures and the development of microwave transmission technologies over optical fibers. Nanobit Semiconductor is a startup company in Japan. We have a unique semiconductor technology named Nanobridge. Nanobridge can drastically reduce the power consumption of semiconductor chip. For realizing the future quantum computing system, the number of the cable to connect qubit from room temperature system is the one of the bottlenecks to scale up the system. In this moonshot project, we are focusing on the reduction of the number of the cable by using cryogenic electronics. We carefully measure the semiconductor devices and nanobridge at the temperature of 4 Kelvin, and we have developed the device model for circuit designers to design semiconductor chip. In this year, uh, we will demonstrate the cryogenic nanobridge FPGA field program gate array to control qubit. Superconductor qubits with an ultra low temperature environment called by dilution refrigerator and high frequency cables to read out and control. Conventional electronics can be a bottleneck for large scale qubit integration in the future and it is natural to use low temperature cryoelectronics using semiconductor or superconductor integrated circuits to reduce the number of cables and heat inflow. Single flux quantum SQ circuit is a superconductor based digital circuit featuring extremely high speed and low power operation. Here at the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, we have the superconducting quantum circuit fabrication facility called QFAB. We are developing SLQ standard cell library, a set of general purpose building blocks like a Lego bricks to perform high-speed digital signal processing near qubits. Radio over fiber is one of the promising technologies for transmitting the microwave signals from room temperature environment to cryogenic environments. It allows a multiplex transmission of several hundred microwave signals on a single optical fiber. We are exploring a method for electro-optic conversion utilizing the nonlinear optical crystals, all while mitigating the generation of excess heat. In QIQB at Osaka University, we have studied the control of large-scale superconducting quantum computers. We have developed scalable control electronics to input and output microwaves with high bandwidth arbitrary waveform from multiple channels in synchronization. The control electronics is now connected to a 64 transmon qubit chip supplied by Riken. We have also developed software for controlling the hardware from cloud access and made it for public. By using this system with precise microwaves, we are trying to demonstrate high fidelity control of 64 qubits based on quantum control theory. Our final goal is the demonstration of large-scale quantum error correction and portrayant quantum computation. We are going to seamlessly integrate the developed technologies into our operational superconducting quantum computer system. 
in order to evaluate their performances, especially in terms of scalability. As we navigate through the project, we hope that we can make the pathway to the Fortran quantum computer clearer and provides variable insights that will pave the way for the next frontier in quantum computing.